beaten to death around five years back. You would have not even heard it because uh, uh, around eight years back or even ten years back, it was in such a huge hype. Uh, you, you guys understand Gartner hype cycle. There is a cycle which says it's a... So till 2012, it was shown in a dipping side where, you know, it was no more a hype nor it had any future. And then after that, they removed the semantic web altogether from the Gartner cycle. So if you have patience to listen to those, I am quite happy. But there are certain interesting things I will be sharing with you. Uh, it has not come up. So the vision, what they had, they wanted to uh, do it in a different form. Uh, if you see the emphasis by Google and all the search engines are doing differently. So I will just share about uh, what was the earlier attempt, what they have made and what is it coming back. I just wanted to share that. So, uh, must have heard of JSON at least, JSON in terms of the object uh, exchange and uh, wh how it became popular. I think most of you might also be knowing that, you know, that is the most uh, standard way right now to exchange data. Uh, so, the topic might sound little vague, but I will go with the, some of the basics and also I will tell why, you know, this uh, whole thing is happening. Uh, let us get started. My name is Janardhan. I work for HP. Uh, I am the part of the R&D team uh, who is doing the private cloud administration. It is mostly I work on the manageability side. Uh, we do the cloud infrastructure management. It is mostly a browser based software. So, we use all the web technologies uh, required for making it happen. And on server side, we use Java. So, I am part of the enterprise division who works on server storage and networking. I have been associated with web for last 18 years uh, from the time whatever you are seeing as the browsers are the ones which I had used as my primary browser for a long time. So, that starts with Netscape Navigator. Navigator 3 is what I got started with. And then uh, IE, because most corporates, we need to ensure that we are using that. And uh, Mozilla, uh, you remember the reincarnation of uh, Netscape Navigator, and then Mozilla, and then the prime time Google took over, and then uh, Chrome is the most favorite browser for most people at least. In this journey, what has remained is, you know, uh, my passion to be associated with technology has been there. I have seen that, you know, technology change from year to year or the corporates change hands in terms of the roles they are the dominant position they have held. Uh, that helped me in terms of staying connected with the technology. In addition to that, I also have a passion, the passion for, you know, watching movies. Uh, 